people are the purple butterfly here. Otherwise known as people are seven on Twitter and YouTube, people are elsewhere on the internet. My blog is located at purple butterfly dash people dot blogspot dot com and my shows can be located at purple butterfly soap people dot etsy dot com. And rummaging to the storage unit and reminiscing and all that, I came across a couple of things actually. I came across some pictures of my first ever quilt. Is that cute or what? And I gave that away as a gift. I should have wrote more information on the back because it's just a literal gift when I made this. But I happen to know the kids were this small at the time I made it. Weren't they cute? That's Kaylin, Earl, and Topaz. And that was the year I did a big chop. And this was me before the big chop. My very first big chop, mind you. You notice something in that picture? I still had all my teeth. <laughs> And this was me after the big cup. Isn't that cute? I went for what I thought was a cute hairstyle. It kind of looked like a, um ice cream puff. But when you have curly hair and you had it long and natural and you didn't necessarily know how to take care of shorter hair, I had some fun weeks directly following my big top. <laughs> and that was one of those hairstyles that was like, really? Anyway, also, in, on May the 30th, 1992, I wrote a story called, I Want Ketchup, She Want Mustard. For my kids. And I'm going to read that now for story time. So, story time. I want ketchup. No, I want mustard. She want ketchup by Tony LaCaya, Coleman People. In other words, me. We had a leak in our apartment. Mommy looked serious and said, it's time to move because they can't fix it. So we moved to a brand new neighborhood. My sister Kay went to a whole different school and made new friends while my sister Topi and I stayed home and played together. Mommy said, Earl, that's me, and Topi, there are lots of children you could play with, so why don't you, you know, go make friends with some of the kids in the area because we had this big apartment complex that, you know, literally every two houses, there were five, six kids. So, later, Mommy got some mail, and we went to, and said, no, let me finish that paragraph. Later, Mommy got some mail and said, do you want to go for a walk and explore our new surroundings? That big word means places around you. Mommy uses a lot of big words. I asked, well, where are we going? And she said, we're going to the bank and to find out where the store is. Mommy looked happy, so I said, okay. After a while, Mommy looked tired and said, let's rest. I said I was getting hungry. So Mommy said we'd get lunch at the store. Mommy said, what do you feel like eating? I said, no, Toby said, I want bologna. I said, me too, but can I not have mayonnaise? Mommy looked playful as if something was funny and said, well, what would you rather have? I said, I want mustard. She want ketchup. We can get the mayonnaise for K. Mommy looked amused as if something was funny and started singing until we got to the store. I want mustard, she want ketchup, K just wants the mayonnaise. Mommy can't sing, 
But it's fun to listen to her and sing along. After Mommy bought bread and bologna, I don't know why she calls bologna that, and mayonnaise and mustard and a whole bunch of other stuff, she said, look, they have a deli here. I said, Earl, what a deli. Well, no, Toby said, Earl, what a deli. I said, Mommy, what's a deli? She said, it's a delicatessen. It's a place that makes your sandwiches for you. Even with mustard and ketchup, I said, she said, yep, and mayonnaise too. <laughs> she brought each of us a sandwich and one for Kay and said I could have it and said she could have it if she was hungry when she got home from school. Mommy ordered mayonnaise for Kay's sandwich. I got mustard for mine. Topi got ketchup. And Mommy got tartar sauce. And said, we can get Kay from the school, and then we can find out where the park is, okay? I said, cowabunga. Side note, little Earl used to say, cowabunga for everything. All right, then back to the story. After Mommy got us ready for bed, I was really tired, so I didn't fuss much. I said, Mommy, we had fun today. I think I'm going to like it here. Mommy smiled and said, as much as mustard and ketchup? Kay said, don't forget the tartar sauce. <laughs> I said, even better. My sister Topi said, good night, tartar sauce. She must have been dreaming because her eyes were closed and her voice was very soft. Mommy gave her a kiss and said, good night, ketchup. She did the same thing for me, so for she called me mustard, and she called Kay mayonnaise. Then Mommy went down the hall singing, I want mustard, she want ketchup, Kay just wants the mayonnaise. I want mustard, she want ketchup, Kay just wants the mayonnaise. This has been dedicated to Kaylin, Earl II, and Topaz, because they make life fun. With love, from Mommy. And that's your story, kids. And Myron, Marcus, and Maya, y'all would be happy to know that the K in this story has a wonderful sense of humor. And the K in this story is your mom. Yep, yep, yep. So if she gives you any grief, say, okay, mayonnaise. Nah, don't do that. I don't want you to get in any trouble. Anyway, this has been People of the Purple Butterfly, located at purplebutterfly-people.blogspot.com, and my soaps can be purchased at Purple Butterfly Soaps, which is people.etsy.com. Y'all stay blessed, stay tuned, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye now.